hello hello and welcome back to my channel working motherhood if you are new here my name is caitlin and if you are returning welcome back so you guys today i have promised you guys a cabinet organization video and that is exactly what I'm going to give you. If you like these types of videos, I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button and that thumbs up button if you would like to see more videos like this from me. Because today, you guys, I am going to completely haul out my kitchen cabinets. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do them all today, but I'm going to at least give you a good under the sink one. So I don't know. We'll see how the morning goes. Um... <laughs> So I'm going to show you guys just a few things that I picked up from Walmart um, yesterday to help me along this journey. I don't even know if I got all the supplies I need. I don't know. Oh, also really quickly before we get started, I want to film a get to know me video. Um, I want you guys to feel as comfortable with me as I feel with you. And so if you have any questions that you would like to know about me to feel at home uh, with me when you watch me, then uh, please put that in the description box. Um, ask me any kind of questions you like. I'm pretty, I'm a pretty candid person. So let me show you guys what I got. Okay, you guys. So I did need some new wine glasses, so I got some of those. That really doesn't have anything to do with the cabinet organization. Um, that's just mama needing some new wine glasses. So. <laughs> Um, I got this three-tier uh, storage thing. I'm going to try to use this underneath my um, sink um, be to store like all of my um, cleaning supplies and whatnots. Because when I show you guys what's underneath my sink, you're probably going to be like, oh my gosh, how could she even live like this? Like, it's so bad. And then I got these cute little um, storage containers. Um, that I'm going to use to put my rice and some pasta and stuff in there in my kitchen cabinet. Because when I show you my food cabinet, and I don't have a pantry. So when I show you what I have, you're going to be like, how could she live like this? And then I got these little storage bins here. Um, they were like $2.96. These were like $14. This was like 20 bucks. These were just wine glasses, y'all. Y'all know what those are. And I got this little storage basket because I'm going to use this underneath my um, microwave card for some extra storage because I don't have a pantry. So, you guys, let me show you what underneath my kitchen sink looks like. Because this is definitely where we're starting off today. Let me open up the doors. So, this is where we're starting off today. And, oh my gosh, is that not a nightmare? Is that not like the biggest nightmare you have ever could have had or ever would have seen? Oh my gosh. So, we're going to get this cleaned out, you guys. And I don't know if we're going to make it to the other ones, but let's see what happens. Let's get started.
So it didn't turn out as great as I was hoping. Um, unfortunately, the thing was a little bit too big, but oh my gosh, is it not so much better than what it was? Like it was a nightmare and at least I can just kind of grab and reach things a little bit easier um, than what I was able to before. So because I was able to do that so quickly, I'm going to go ahead and let's do the um, upper cabinets, you guys. Guys, so this is the only cabinet that I have for food storage. Isn't that sad? Like, my house is so small. You guys see my kitchen. If you haven't, I'll link a video um, in the description box that shows you what my kitchen is like. But this is the only cabinet that I really have. tried to give it more of a pantry type feel um so over here i got this little thing from the dollar tree it's um it's a soda drink dispenser thing i have one in my refrigerator as well but you just can line your cans up in here too um and they'll kind of roll out as a system um and then i have like my peanut butters here spaghetti sauce cans um all of my little canned goods here pasta sauce and whatnot 
Then I have my pasta in my new little container instead of keeping it in the bag. And I want to get another uh, one of these systems because um, I want to be able to have the big one for my spaghetti sticks. Um, and then I have like my rice in here. Extra bags of rice is in boxes. So on this side, we're going to do canned goods. And then on this side, we're going to do like um, pasta. Then as we go down here, I got these things from the Dollar Tree. I keep the kids cookies in here and that way I can kind of um, set out how much they get to have and then I keep like little snack cakes because if I put the whole big boxes in the, in the cabinet they'll eat them all and then I have put just like the little pretzels um, pretzel sticks in this bag I'm gonna keep this little basket here I have like just popcorn and my little um, taco mix packages stuff like that that's hard to kind of store so I'll keep it all in this little um, container here and then I'll just keep like all of our chips and snacks over there which is I don't have a lot of those right now but compared to what it was I feel like I made so I felt like I did the best I could with what I had when you don't have a pantry you have to kind of make it seem like it's a pantry um, so now I'm going to do my last little project of today. So this is just my little microwave cart where I store some extra supplies since I don't have much cabinet space. Um, just in this basket I'm putting in some bread and some potatoes and some sauces. Um, just some extra items. Um, I'm not doing much over here. Um, I hope I was able to give you guys some motivation even though my pro uh, projects didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted them to. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and until next time you guys.